Hello friends and neighbors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a complex correct sentence structure communication. I've already done a video on how to do the basic simple version of it. How to translate a uh, plain English fiction babble sentence into a correct sentence structure. In this one I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging, a little bit more complex. Having one, again, one main idea, one verb of thinking per sentence, but adding more complex periphery data within the claim itself. Now, I did do a little contest or a little grammar challenge on my YouTube channel where I asked the viewer, go ahead and see if you can come up with a fiction babble sentence that you would like me to translate. And it dawned on me after seeing a couple examples, which there weren't many, I didn't expect there to be many, not many people are willing to step forward and do something like that and accept that uh, type of challenge. But the ones that I did see, it's just people trying to make an inordinately fiction, you know, complex fiction babble sentence, you know, and then have me translate it. And some of them just didn't even make sense, at least not to me. Me being, you know, I was an English major back in 1990. 697 uh, in college so I do have a grasp of plain English fiction babble and uh, I was also a copy editor where I edited people's plain English so I'm very familiar with the way you know the syntaxing and in a fiction sense of how words work together to make sense and a lot you know some of the comments just didn't make any sense at all just people trying to make a complex plain English sentence so figure well I'll just do something that is complex, but also cultivating the psychological aspect of the grammar technology in the viewer. So here's the sentence. All of my knowledge originates from my understanding of my firsthand experience via my senses conveyed by correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar tempered with fairness, honor, and grace with the position of peace and neutrality. How to translate that into a correct sentence, structure communication. Now, as I said in the first, the basic video, what is the main idea of this sentence? What sort of a claim is it? All right. I would say it is a claim either of understanding, i.e. cognition, or perhaps it's a claim of sensation, of first-hand knowledge of one's senses. That's what I would say the main idea of where to start with. Now, in the basic video, I suggested that people get into the habit of starting their sentence like this. For the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim and then go with what the main idea of what the sentence is. But this is a little bit different because it's more complex because I'm saying where the knowledge originates from. The claimant's knowledge can't originate from the claimant's knowledge. It can't be for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the knowledge, right? You can't, it just, that's redundant. So let's go a little bit more in depth with this. Let's say it's, an under, it's a claim of understanding or cognition. So we'll say claim it's cognition of the sensation. So we have covered this part. We've covered this part. Actually, we've covered this whole part right here. So what's left? Let, let me... There. We've covered that part. What's left? So now, since we've done for the claimant's cognition of the sensation, as you may or may not know, the 
order of operations is this cause concern verb possessive concern possessive authority that's basically the the order of operations there cause would be like for the facts of the facts are with the facts of the facts with the facts by the facts so we have the cause which is claimant's cognition that's a compound fact that's to be taken as a whole I'm going to underline that and now the concern the second in the order of operations is of the sensation now we have to put our verb in there claimant's cognition is singular so therefore the verb would be singular also is now we go into the possess uh, possession what's next do you think what what should we convey so we have knowledge conveyed by correct sentence structure and what's correct sentence structure about it's about positioning facts correct so what if we say this Actually, why don't we just abbreviate that, because I'm sure anybody that's watching this knows what this means. For the claimant's cognition of the sensation is with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, claim. All right. Now we've conveyed this. What's left? Tempered with fairness. How would you say tempered with fairness in correct sentence structure? Well, we got to put this in here, though, first. Because I just said, you know, correct sentence structure is about conveying facts. It's about positioning facts. It would logically indicate that we have to say with the correct sentence structure claim of the facts so this is a claim of the facts um, so the correct sentence structure claim is possessing the sensation which the cause of that sensation is the claimants cognition my understanding of it you could also say for the claimant sensation of the cognition either which way works I just chose this one uh, just because. So now we've come this far, we have a correct sentence structure claim of the facts. Now, how would you say tempered with fairness? Well, in correct sentence structure, if you're familiar with my videos and you know that I teach three principles of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And one of those principles is this. The maintenance of the rule one, rule equal. So that would take care of this, because fairness is rule one, rule equal. What about honor and grace? That's another principle that I teach, the balance of the honor and the grace. Now, I'm going to use a conjunction here. You can write it that way, with the balance of the honor and of the grace. You can also write it like this. That colon would also represent of the grace. You could also write it like this, with the balance of the honor and grace. Or you could write it like I wrote rule one, rule equal, like that. But in this case, 
for sake of knowledge cultivation purposes, I'm going to write it like this. The balance of the honor and of the grace, because a conjunction, of which there are two in correct sentence structure, and in or, ands just serve as, in correct sentence structure, they serve as bridges between sevens or five, six, sevens. This forward slash represents the conjunction and. And so it is a bridge between these two sevens. Rule equal is a seven. Rule one is a seven. So this would be syntax 707. And then we have of the honor and of the grace. That would be 5670567. Thus, as I said, conjunctions serve as bridges between sevens or 567s. And what I've done here is I've added a possessive with the balance of the honor and of the grace and then the concern. So where are we at on our graph here? We have is with the claim of the facts, with the maintenance of the rule one, rule equal, with the balance of the honor and of the grace. So we have with the claim, correct sentence structure claim of the facts, with the maintenance of the rule one, rule equal, Correct sentence structure claim of the facts with the balance or with the maintenance of the rule one rule equal with the balance of the honor and the grace. That's where we are. This is how far we are in the in the graph here. Cause concern, verb, possessive concern, possessive concern, possessive concern. But we still have more to go. We've taken care of this honor and grace bit. Hmm, I'm running out of colors here. So now we have to convey position of peace and neutrality, which is in the, uh, the third of the three principles that, that I was talking about. With the position of the peace and neutrality. Now we've taken care of this. And we have left is this, the knowledge. And that's easy. Underline that. So we have claim, the facts, maintenance, rule one, rule equal, balance, honor, grace, position, peace and neutrality with the knowledge and any authority by the claimant. So that's what our, our sentence looks like. That's a complex sentence. Cause, concern, verb, possessive, concern, possessive, concern, possessive, concern, possessive, concern, possessive authority. Um, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve position lodial fact phrases. And we have covered every bit of that sentence, leaving out some of the fiction words. So let's truly graph this now so that you can see what I'm talking about.
So again, this is a graph of a correct sentence structure. This is not how you would actually literally write it in a document contract postal vessel core venue. This is just a learning tool, okay? One would not write correct sentence structure like this in an actual living document that you would transship off or through the postal stations or whatever to those custom clearing houses. So here we go. We got the cause. Claimant's cognition. What's the claimant's cognition concerned with? The sensation. We have our two position lodial fact phrases because why? Because you need two points with which to draw a straight line and establish a geometric level playing field of contract communication for the claimant's cognition of the sensation. Now we can put our verb of the thinking in is singular because claimant's cognition is singular. Now we put our possessive in with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, claim, what's that concerned with? The facts. What's possessing the facts? The maintenance. What's the maintenance concerned with? The rule one, rule equal. Fairness. What's possessing the fairness? The balance. Oh, look, I forgot to do that one. Okay. And that's why you do this, to, to check your sentence. So what is the balance concerned with? The honor and the grace. What's possessing the honor and the grace? The position. What's the position concerned with? The peace and neutrality. What's possessive of the peace and neutrality? The knowledge. And who ultimately is the authority of that knowledge? The claimant. Me. I'm the one making the claim. Now to double check it going backwards. Let me make this a little small. There we go. This, the claimant now becomes the cause for the claimant of the knowledge. Two positional audio fact phrases, then you put your verb in. You establish your straight line. The verb would be is, again, because claimant is singular, is with the peace and neutrality of the position, with the honor, and with the grace of the balance, with the rule one and rule equal, of the maintenance, with the facts, of the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, claim, with the sensation by the claimant's cognition. And the authority of it is my understanding of my sensation, my senses, my port of sensation, the five plus senses that I have at my disposal. So that is your complex correct sentence structure. Let's uh, let's syntax that real quick. It's going to be a no-brainer. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So here we go. You can see the numbers in red there that I've syntaxed. Position lodial fact, 567, 567. Verb is 2, 567, 567, 567, 567, 0, 7, because the forward slash represents the conjunction and, 567, 567, 0, 567 because conjunctions serve as bridges either between sevens facts or five six sevens position lodial fact phrases five six seven five six seven zero seven five six seven five six seven seven and it bugs me that I missed highlighting these two sevens with red so I'm gonna fix that real quick and there's your correct, uh, complex correct sentence structure. And here it is mapped out. 
cause concern, verb, possessive concern, possessive concern, possessive concern, possessive concern, possessive authority. For the facts, of the facts, are, with the facts, of the facts, 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 with the facts, by the facts. And that's your map for how to translate a complex, correct sentence structure. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, for the new time, uh, the new viewers, just logging in, checking this stuff out. I do have over 600 videos on this channel, and this is just a new video that I've made tackling an old topic that I have probably countless videos on already on this channel you might want to check out my correct sentence structure playlist my syntax playlist my parse playlist the mini class playlist parts of speech playlist the psyche playlist live streams um, all types of knowledge bundled together free for you if you want to study it if you like free stuff because I mean who doesn't but if you want to get a little bit more serious about it um, well, you can always contact me and apply for a workshop. But there will be more information about that coming up here at the end, at the little thing I tack on at the end here. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate everybody viewing this. I hope that this helps those of you out there who do have a rudimentary closure on the grammar but don't quite know how to translate a complex structure. Here's one way. Thank you very much. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel my gift to you my fellow mankind thank you again and i'll see you in the next one